health experts around the world are now predicting that a COVID-19 vaccine could be ready for mass production by the end of this year. At least 170 possible vaccines are currently being tracked by the World Health Organization, with some seven now in the last phase of human trials. Pamela Asiga reports on the growing optimism and why some are warning that a vaccine might not be the magic bullet against COVID-19. The global race for a COVID-19 vaccine seems underway to break all speed records. A total of 32 vaccines are now undergoing human trials, including seven which have entered phase three clinical trials, the last phase in the development of a vaccine before it is licensed. Among those, the promising ones are reportedly from the UK, the US and China, with large-scale human tests underway in different parts of the world. The vaccine candidates are being developed by the University of Oxford and AstraZeneca, Biotech, Fonsum Pharma and Pfizer, Moderna, Sinovac, Beijing Institute of Biological Products, Wuhan Institute of Biological Products and the University of Melbourne together with Murdoch Children's Research Institute. The latest progress appearing promising according to scientists. I'm quite hopeful that by the end of 2020 we will have vaccines that have made it through phase trials and ready for are ready for production. Um, But of course, between here and there is a long time. There could be things that go wrong. um, But the sheer number of vaccines that are entering phase three trials gives me hope that at least one will make it through and show itself to be both safe and effective in preventing COVID-19. Jerome Kim, Director General of the International Vaccine Institute, also hopes that good signs will appear in the next three or four months and stress the importance of vaccine manufacture and distribution. We hope that in the next four months or so, we'll we'll get a signal, an early signal uh, from one of these vaccines that shows that it's actually protecting people against COVID-19 infection. And that will be a very, very important step Kim also expressed his concerns about the impact of geopolitical disputes on vaccine distribution and called for a solution that will ensure all people can have access to the vaccine. When we have the vaccine, that it isn't going to be a, uh, a single deal between you know, China and Brazil or, or a single deal between a um, U.S. or European-based company and, and a country somewhere in the world. This has to be a solution that will be available to people all over the world. Countries are already in a race to secure the most doses of the vaccines. Many are in discussion or reportedly about to strike deals with pharmaceutical industry giants. The United States and the European Union appear to be front runners, with the U.S. spending some 10 billion U.S. dollars for up to 1.3 billion doses. To date, just one coronavirus vaccine has been approved, Sputnik V, formerly known as gum covid vac and developed by the Gamalaya Research Institute in Moscow. It was approved by the Ministry of Health of the Russian Federation on August 11th. Experts have raised considerable concern about the vaccine's safety and efficacy, given that it has not yet entered first three clinical trials. But WHO's Europe's regional director, Hans Klug, is urging people to prepare to live with the virus and not rely on a vaccine to bring an end to the pandemic. The end of the pandemic will be the day when every one of us will take the responsibility and have been learning how to behave with the virus. Pamela Sigi, Citizen TV.